So now this is the same proto file which we were checking out in our uh, previous video of the basic implementation. So this was a proto file. You see order.proto. You can refer to the previous videos to see the implementation. And this was the student response. This is the student request and this is the service. So these are the methods which a server has to implement. So now I want to introduce the streaming. So to introduce the streaming, I will need to have those methods. So the first one I can have is uh, uh, server side streaming. So to do the server side streaming, what I can do is I can have RPC get uh, or I can write so get server side streaming and the request will still be student request returns till here you see the method is same in line number seven and line number eight and here i will do stream student response and this is how uh, the declaration of uh, the server side streaming is done that is a server will implement a method which just takes one arc that is a request and then it returns a stream of the response in fact it does not even need this it's optional the main thing which we are interested in is this stream so this server is sending the stream of response Likewise, I can have a client side streaming as well. So I can again put RPC client side streaming student request. And in fact, what I need to have is the stream of student request. And what it will return is returns student response. So this is how a typical the client side of streaming is there. A simple request is sent by stream of request and you get the response. And you can have a bidirectional streaming as well. So RPC bidirectional streaming stream of student request returns stream of student response so this is how the declaration is done so now all you need to do is to go to your terminal and type md and clean install and when you do that you will see extra methods getting created in your service class. So you had this student service gRPC in the generated resources. And now you can see that it has this client side streaming, bi-directional streaming, server side streaming. So these are the new methods which have been added. And all you need to do is to go, your, go to your server class and implement this method. And this will help you to implement the various types of streaming. I'll switch to next video where I explain these uh, implementations. How would you implement these method in the server side and then in the client side. Thanks for watching this video. I'll keep on posting more such content. Do subscribe to the channel if you like it and give your uh, useful feedbacks. Thank you.